Hey guys, it's Zelda. I know this is a little overdue. I've been promising it for a while, but we're finally in a good place for it. I'm going to show you how to do one of my sewing projects. A few months ago, through the magic of the Everyone feed, and if you don't ever look at the Everyone feed, you should, because it's a good way to find stuff like this, uh, I sold across this image. RT user Cat2444 had drawn up these Ruby-inspired aprons, and had made a comment below that she really wished she knew how to sew, so that way she could make them a real thing. You can probably figure out how our conversation went after that, because here we are. Um, I've taken her drawing and tried to make an actual physical apron out of it, and was going to make these videos for her as kind of a tutorial to show her how to do it, and because she rocks, she gave me permission to show this to everybody, so that way if you wanted to do it, you could do it too. I will be specifically making Ruby's apron, uh, because that one's going to cover more bases for things that you should know how to do if you're learning how to sew. Any of the techniques or alterations that we do here can still apply to the other girls' aprons as well, so you can use this as a base to do any of the other ones that you want as well. Feel free to follow it as is, to make your own changes, whatever. I just ask that if you're going to post pictures of it and talk about how fantastic it is, because they are pretty awesome looking, uh, that you give Ketu some credit for coming up with the idea and making the drawings. I found a pattern that's going to be a good base for all four of them. It is the C and Sew B5551. I will put that in the description below. Uh, we're obviously making this one right here, except just not in quite as crazy of a pattern. Um, and this will be a good one for all of them. We'll still have to make some alterations to get the shape just right, but this is a really good starting place. Okay, too, mentioned maybe wanting more of a fuller skirt than this looks like it'll give you, um, just because, like, Ruby and Weiss have fuller skirts on their outfits. So we also found a pattern online that I purchased to make the skirt and kind of shove the two together. You can do it just with this, you can do it with the other one, um, I'm going to put the link to the other one below in case you're interested. Uh, feel free to do it however. I will show you how to mesh the two patterns together, and if you don't want to do that, you can just ignore that part of the video. When choosing your fabric for this project, you have an extra element to consider, and that's washability. This is an apron. It's probably going to get stuff on it. So, like, when I look at Ruby's outfit, I would assume it's made out of something like satin. It has that kind of look to me. But if you make an apron out of satin, it's going to stain really, really easily. So that's not really the best apron choice. You can do it however you want, but it's not going to hold up very well. So I actually chose to do mine out of cotton. I feel like it's still giving me a really good look. And then I kind of jazzed it up by using satin for the ruffles that go around the top and the bottom of the skirt. For the bodice piece in the middle, I chose to use black eyelets. You can use silver ones, you could use gold ones, you can use whatever ones you want that you can find. To me, I just thought it should be black, so that's what I use. I definitely recommend for doing this is to follow the same kind of method that I did, where I made all of the pieces and pinned them all together and made sure they fit together how I wanted them to, so they would fit well on me, and then I stitched them together. You can do it however you want, but I definitely recommend doing that, especially if you want the bodice piece to line up exactly in a particular place on, on you. So as far as supplies are concerned, for the entirety of this project, you are going to need your pattern, one and a quarter yards of black fabric, you're going to need a 30 yard of red fabric, You'll need to have thread that matches both of those. Uh, you want red cording for the bodice in the middle. I use this stuff. It's very satiny. Uh, it's over where the rest of like the spooled things like fringe and ribbon and stuff are over at your fabric store. You will need four yards of this. I know that sounds like a lot, but I actually used all four yards. You will need five yards of the ribbon that you want to use for your ruffles. You'll want it to kind of match the red fabric you chose because it'll be right next to it. The cording is not as big of a deal because that's far away from the red, so if it's not a perfect match, it's not going to be a big problem, but you'll notice if the ruffles and the straps are different colors. So try to find something that matches that. You'll need five yards of that ribbon. I like to use satin, and mine was about one and a half inches in width. Don't go any smaller than that. You can go wider. There's always ways to do with that. But if you go smaller, you're going to run out of room to actually do the ruffling. Uh, you will also need eyelets for the middle piece. Those can be black or silver, whatever you want. Um, there's two really main sizes. There's gigantic ones and ones that look reasonable. Um, it'll be pretty obvious which ones you want to get. You will also need a hammer. I know that sounds really weird, but you need the hammer to make the eyelets do become eyelets. 
All right, so I think that's everything. Uh, if you get all that stuff, you should be good to go. Next week, I will start showing you how to put stuff together, how to deal with the pattern and cut your pieces out, and how to mesh the two patterns together if you're going to kind of do that. So be sure you check the description below. That'll have links to all the different things I talked about, and it'll also have a recap of what materials you need. Feel free to leave me any questions, either here in the comments or on Twitter or on Rooster Teeth or whatever, and hopefully we'll have a pretty awesome apron by the time this is all done. Catch you later.